And another part is the repeal of the income tax. Now, do you really possible? Oh, yes, I do, as I will show. But since the income tax finances a part of the federal government, the first question should be, do you think the federal government is too big, too small, or about the right size? <laughs> I think it's too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Oh, much too big. Too big. Uh, too big. Too big. Too big. Yes, too big. Well, some people claim the government is big because America want the programs big government provides. Well, let's ask them another simple question. What's your favorite government program? Favorite government program. Favorite government program. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Favorite government program. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what my favorite would be. I, I don't know. What's my favorite? I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if I care that much about any of them. I don't know. Can you give me something to choose from? Do I have to have? I don't, I don't really have one. I don't have a favorite government. There's no program. Sad, isn't it? I'm thinking I can't really think of any that are all that. Most people see little value to them what the government is doing, but they assume the income tax is necessary because government is helping other people. But is it? By the government's own figures, the war on poverty escalated poverty in America. Federal health care now costs senior citizens more health care did before the passage of Medicare. Federal intrusions have run up the causation. All right, so who, who does benefit from all this? Well, mainly the patients who enjoy an enormous power to reward those who help them and to punish those who operate. They create problems, and then they tell us that only they can solve the same problems. And government is never reduced because those who want government programs are Johnny on the spot to pressure the politicians while the rest of us are busy tending to our own lives. Yes, politicians can always find some interest group to justify and support any plan and government. And so the pressure is always toward bigger and bigger government. The founders knew that such things as roads, education, commerce, agriculture, would be far more efficient, less expensive, and less intrusive of our liberty if handled by the states or by the people on their own. So the Constitution limits the federal government to providing a few services, national defense, a court system, and minor activities, not to manage all of society and to run all of our lives. Once you violate those constitutional limits, even for a good program, it's a matter of time until the politicians can pass any program they want, good or bad. And that's where we are today, with no constitutional protection against big government. According to the Census Bureau, taxes at all levels of government, federal, state, and local, comprised 47% of the national income. So that means that you and everyone watching this program are working half the time for the government and only half the time for our own. <laughs> so what do we do about it? Well, we can't eliminate any one program by itself. There will always be too much pressure from whatever group benefits from it. And many people feel that there's at least one federal program that does some good, even if it is constitutional. So we have to offer Americans something better than that one, whatever it may be. We have to look at all the unconstitutional federal programs at one giant cost. And what is that cost? It's your paying in income tax. If the government were limited to the Constitution, there would be no need for the income tax. For over a hundred years, there was no index because the federal government stuck pretty closely to the Constitution.
Governments survived easily on just tariffs and excise taxes. Those taxes produce more than enough to finance a strong national defense, the courts, and the other constitutional functions of the federal government. And the programs not off the Constitution? Well, if you think there's some federal program that does good, think how much better it would be if it were run privately by people who are accountable for the results. And think how much better off you'd be if you didn't have for all those federal programs you don't like. So here is the great lesson offer. Would you give up those federal programs if it meant you never pay income tax again? And your children and your grandchildren would never have the tax burden you've had to endure. Some people might say that this will leave behind. Well, ending the income tax is going to leave over a trillion dollars a year in the hands of people who earned it. Money that the politicians get to play with now. A trillion dollars will buy a job for anyone who can work and charity for anyone who can't work. Do you really believe the politicians and bureaucrats are more charitable and compassionate than you are? Than your friends or your church are? Today, they pay out almost half their income in federal, state, and local taxes. And still, still, they finance hundreds of thousands of churches and other private charities without want of government money. And, you know, most of us would donate even more money to charity if we didn't have to pay. Of course. Without the income tax, you'll be able to do much more for others. And you'll be able to do much more for your own family. If yours is a typical middle class family, when we repeal the income tax, your take-home pay will go up by $10,000 a year. So I'd like to ask you, what happens? What will you do with the money? Will you put your children in a private or a school where you can get exactly the kind of education and values that you want for them? Will you invest in that business you've always wanted to start? Will you support your church or your favorite charity in a way you've never been able to do before? Will you buy a new home or family on that vacation you've always dreamed of but never been able to afford? What it is you want, that's what you should have, not what the politicians think best and not what I think is best. Every dollar you earn should be your choose what to do with. Well, we uh, covered three big topics on this program, but we really haven't had the time to go into any of them in detail, so I'm sure many viewers still have questions. I encourage you to learn more about these proposals. Call the number that's on your screen or Mr. Brown's website. His staff will be glad to send you a packet of information. Thank you, Harry Brown. Thank you, David.